Uh, Blazer's coming on here soon. You gonna stick around for a little bit? Stick on, stick on, Casey. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. We got Blazer coming on. How? What's the weight weight difference between you and Joey? Uh, I honestly don't even know how much the dude weighs. I I think he weighs like one sixty or something like that. What are you right now? Like 45, 50? Oh, I'm probably 52, 54. You that big? Yeah, dude, I was that big. You know, I made I made thirty eight. I mean, but I did it right, and it was it, it felt good. So, Blazer, welcome. Well, I'm pretty good. Big. Casey, hey, uh, what's, up? what's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, you sure. guys are club teammates, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so Burnett train guys on the, on the call, and then we had uh, Dylan Fishbeck. He's been coming to the camps for like the last six or seven years. So we get Burnett guys on here. You know, I know Burnett guys. I used to be the mat mopper and the <laughs> toilet plunger there for a while, and the uh, torture everybody in the morning guy. So. They have uh, – Jack does all that now, doesn't he? Ah, uh, yeah. Coach Jack's oh, yeah. the old uh... – Yeah, 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 Jack. Jack does it. The, the Hawk – hey, Casey, remember, he's a Hawkeye. Watch him. Yeah, right, man. Hawkeyes don't know what's coming. <laughs> he's the enemy. <laughs> he's the enemy, right? The enemy. Oh. Okay, Blazer. So, we got Joey Blazer on here. Mr. Uh, upset of the year, Casey Swiderski, but only three people knew about it. But it was coming. Right. Casey, Mendez, and apparently Dylan Fishbeck. Joey, did you know the upset of the year was coming? Zeb, come on, man. I trained with him every day. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, Joey I knew, knew what was going on. Jo- Joey knew. Joey knew. Joey's probably been juggernauted before, is my guess. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, you ever been run Joe, through? Yeah. You ever run through you? <laughs> yeah, Joe, yeah. Me and Joe went at it, Zeb. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, hey, we was, had some scraps every day. Well, man, we had this one practice, and Scotty, or Scotty was like, you know, what won you that match was that that practice. So we had to do. Well, I mean, we were already, you know, pretty deep into the practice. We'd done like a bunch of goes, and it was, uh, um, it was super slippery in there, and it was first one of three takedowns at the end of practice. And if you think we're getting three takedowns, any less than an hour. You're, you know, that's not happening. Oh like, three, like, it's not happening. So we went, I don't know, it was probably at 20, you know, 15, 10 minute, 15, 10 to 15 minute go, maybe even longer. You know, I don't have a shirt on. He doesn't have, you know, we're, we're sweating, you know, it's, and I got to this dude's leg so many times I could not finish. And I was just, you know, I was at, I was at my breaking point, you know, it was just, I, you know, I ended up getting it, but it was, it was wild, man. So Blazer's frustrating to wrestling, wrestle what you're, is that what you're saying? He's, he's hard to wrestle. He's all Gumby. 100%, dude. Yeah. It's frustrating. Hey, yeah, we have some good scraps. Yeah. Frustrating to watch. <laughs> it's frustrating. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I feel bad for people. I'm like, this guy's really hard to wrestle. Like, I wouldn't want to do this. Right, right. Yeah. And Casey, you're normally you can pick people up and put them down real hard, right? Like, you're explosive. Yeah. He's really good at neutralizing that, isn't he? Yeah, he is. You know, he's, he's, he knows dead weight. He knows dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome uh casey before we let you off what is next for you where are we going to see you compete like beside what college open is it michigan state open like, I, where dude, can we definitively I, see you next i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that uh up to the entry list as of right now <laughs> but um dude um the season the high school season right now we have we got a tough task ahead of us this year we got we're, we're pretty um you know, we're pretty light right now. You know, we don't have much and we're going to have to pull really uh, be committed and pull together to win another uh, team title, which I, that's my goal, you know, for individual and for team. So like, it's going to be huge to do that. And uh, yeah, college opens, you know, you, you'll see me, you'll see me at a couple. So Will you do freshman, sophomore, do you think? Yeah, I, I would assume. Yeah. Because you know, you can go freshman, sophomore or open. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I might, you know, I may be the first, maybe the first couple will just be freshman, sophomore, and then I'll throw myself out there, which, you know, me, you know, I don't care. So, I love it. yeah, run through some plate glass windows or some sliders or whatever it yeah. takes to get warmed up. I don't know. Whatever, yeah. whatever you need to do, right? Yeah. I love it. Casey, thank you for the time. Do you got anything else for us? You got any stories? We don't have to let you go. I mean, I, we're going to get into Blazer here a little bit because. Blazers coming from a BTW practice. I know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Ah, uh, dude. You know, hey, give me a second. Talk to Joey for a little bit, and I'll, I'll, I'll hit you with a story. <laughs> Good time back in. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I'm just glad. I'm glad you're willing to tell a story. Okay, so hey, all, all right, we'll introduce story. Joe. So we got Joey Blaze on, Ohio State champ from Perrysburg, uh, coming from a Burnett training practice. Actually, his high school coach is Scotty Burnett at Perrysburg. Joey was Perrysburg's first state champ since 2015, I believe. Oh, 16, 16. Scotty's and first state champ. So whenever Scott, you're was. Scotty's first state champ as the head coach. Okay. And then you had a pan in overtime, didn't you? Yeah. Was it Niffin Negger? Mm-hmm. And he's going to Army. Uh, Navy, I think. Navy. Okay. So what weight does it look like this year? Because we got weird weights. Casey, what are your guys' weights normal or are you guys never left? Yeah, we're, we're the same still. So. so you're 38 this year? Well, no, it's one of it's 40. It's 40. 40. I'm not going 40. No, I'll probably be at, you know, in Michigan, I always bounce around and get really big, you know, for the team or whatever. So, I mean, last year, I was 145 a state. Um, so you could be at 52. I could be anywhere, dude. I honestly could be anywhere. <laughs> Blazer, how big are you going to be this year? 50? Uh, I mean, that, that might be the plan. I don't know. Like right now, I'm going to go 45 for Super 32, and I might try to get down to 44 for Ironman. But, uh, like, we got a good kid on our team, Winton. I mean, you know Winton. Uh, he's pretty tough, and he's he's smaller than me. So, I think it'd make our lineup better if he's going 44 and I'm going 50. So, everybody we've talked to, Jared, tonight was committed, is committed to a big-time program. Shoemate, Ohio State, uh, Fishbeck, NC State, and Casey's going to Iowa State, right? Joey, 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 you know, I know you're only a junior, and those guys are all older than you. But um, what's it looking like right now, Joey? Talk us about the recruiting trail. Just at a visit, right? Uh, yeah, I just went to Purdue uh, this past weekend. It was uh, it was awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go to Virginia Tech this weekend, and uh, honestly, I got a I got a top five. I mean, I don't know if I have a top five, but I got a top two right now. Sounds like Purdue and uh, Virginia Tech. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. Good. Good for you. That's that's good. So. So official visits lined up for both. Casey, what were your officials? Okay, so this is crazy. But um, that was, I just went to Iowa State not too long ago, and that was my first official visit ever because of COVID. I didn't get to go on any visits. This man is a maniac. There's This man is out of his mind. So, yeah, um, obviously I'd been to Ames, and uh, I knew where I was going. I'll tell you that much. Do you have a really good relationship with Coach Metcalf? Because he's a Michigan guy. Is that like yeah. what the connection is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's one of the bigger reasons. Metcalf and uh, just the state of Iowa itself, too, is, you know, I like, you know, the, the, the population in Iowa is like the same amount of population of Detroit. Like the whole state of Iowa is the same as Detroit. Think about that. You know, like there's, you know, I'd rather have more deer hunting than people you know <laughs> uh blazer what's good what's the first competition for you casey's going right to the opens what are you going to compete at uh super 32 what weight 45 45 so they go, are they going old school weights like what michigan's at right now for super 32 uh they're just Is doing that- national weights what are the national? I don't. Is it six, thirteen, yeah. Yeah, twenty? Totally used to. Okay. What all? I don't know what Ohio is doing. We eliminated a weight, didn't we? Uh, I think we like eliminated one, but slotted in a middle weight, I believe, because there's still fourteen. Okay. What did we eliminate? Eighty-two. We we I, made the upper weight ninety, didn't we? Yeah. It goes seventy-five and nine to ninety to two. Yeah, we combined eighty-two and ninety essentially. Eighty-two and ninety-five are now ninety, right, Jared? Is that basically what happened? Yeah. Right. What middle weight do we add? It goes twenty-six, thirty-two as it did, thirty-eight, and then it goes a forty-four, fifty, fifty-seven, sixty-five, seventy-five. So well, effectively, I, we added forty-four, fifty, and fifty-seven. Right? We added. There's like one added there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Which I'm all right with because I like, I like, I mean, let's be honest when you're big guys, you know, you got a lot less big guys coming out anyway. It's hard filling those weights. We know that. Just kind of real quick, right? It's kind of quick for Ohio. 
yeah, I don't like what they did. But uh, uh, Joey, good. You are at you are at Super Thirty Two. Anything else that you, before you hit Iron Man? Uh, not as of right now. No. Okay. So you guys are just training through Super Thirty Two, and then your next cycle will be Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Casey, do you guys go to anything that's even remotely like? What's the best? tournament you guys get to go to that's like an in in season dundee tournament brexville you guys do get to go to brexville yeah i mean i've only been there twice okay i wrestled freshman year i got second i lost to rowan in the finals and overtime he's at stanford he's pretty good yeah and then uh, my sophomore year i had the worst weight cut of my life and i ended up getting pinned in the semis by watson Eisel at 120 what'd you finish Third. Joey, are you at Brexville? Uh, yeah, we'll be there. Oh, we can see you guys wrestle. I love it. I love everything about it. We could see you guys wrestle with Dursky Blazer matchup. Jared, tell them who else could potentially wrestle at Brexville that we had on the show earlier. Shoot me. I'll be at 38 for Brexville, so they probably won't have. Come on, Casey. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete's. That's you run right. through plate gra- glass doors. Hey, we scrap and fight enough at practice. We don't yeah. we don't need to bring it out in a competition. I can just come no, and video I'll that. Do. I'll just video that and put it on the internet. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that go. I want to I want to come in for one of those goes, those three first to three, best two out of three. I want that. Oh. It will be there for it's all night. I love you can it. Uh, count me out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you don't know, back down, whatever. You back down from nothing. Yeah, so yeah. you will. So there's no certification where you can't go 38. Like there's no, you can go up as high as you want in Michigan and still go to 38 for the out of state tournament. Well, I mean, Brexville is like one of our earliest tournaments. So I'm, um, I mean, I won't be going up until. Got it. So you'll be down early anyway. Yeah. I go that. That's when I always go down and then you'll see me no less than 45, honestly, probably. So 33 or 41 at the college 41. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, I think I'll come in there. Perfect. 41, you know, so I'll probably be a lifetime 41, to be honest with you. I haven't grown in a while, so I'm chilling. Blazer, what do they got you at? 49.57? What's, what are they recruiting you as? Do you uh, know? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, like 49 through 65, that area. 40, 49. Hey, he's so a 49. Could be a 65. We don't know yet. Yeah, it just <laughs> depends. I love it. I love it. Yeah, 65, maybe, maybe 74. Why not? Yeah, who knows when I start lifting? You I don't know. It happen. Seriously, left in. That's what. Hey, uh, that's what Fishback said. Fishback said COVID actually like hooked him up because he never. Fishback's like, yeah, I never lifted. He goes, and then during COVID, you know, there was nothing else to do. I had to lift. Yeah, I don't I know if he said there was really nothing good. else to do, but he dedicated to lifting, is what he said, four days a week, and got serious about it. I dedicated myself to eating during uh, COVID. <sighs> Joey. We Joey, saw you Joey, at, uh, Joey. NOAC State. What was he crushing? Chaco tacos or something? Chaco ta- How many Chaco hey, tacos Joey, did you eat? <laughs> Podersky, you know this man eats. He does not eat one Chaco taco. You know that, right? Dude, this man. I know, I know Joey for the eating, man. <laughs> hey, Joe, when you were in Michigan, how far did you live from Casey in Dundee? Five minutes. Five minutes? Just about there. Yeah. You guys were that close, dude. Dude, let me tell you. Oh, here's my story. Oh, here we go. Then we're now we're yeah, letting you go. Go ahead. Story. I know what he's gonna I'm tell us. That story. Okay. Um. So, I moved from Ida, and so did Joey. We all went to Ida schools, which is like right down the road from from Dundee. It's like Dundee's rival, but they're terrible. Um. So me. Okay. So I mean, me, Stony, Joey. Um, my brother, you know, we all went to Ida and we all transferred out. So, I mean, we we're all from the same school originally and we all transferred out. I mean, there, Logan Brown went there too. I don't know if you remember him. He was really good. Bunch but of he, killers. Yeah. Ida, Michigan had a bunch of killers. Yes. And if we all would have stayed there, you know, Dundee would be nobody probably right now. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that, but like, come on, Dundee still would have been good, man. Yeah. You know that. Come on. Yeah. But like, they wouldn't be nobody, but you know, obviously, hey, if I want to stay to Ida, I can't say that we I would be good anyway. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Coach Roberts is a pretty good coach. Yeah, exactly. So, so there you go. Okay. So is, is that your story or do you have a story? I got no stories, dude. I don't know. I, I you know, I, <laughs> I thought, I thought there was like this commonality of a story that Joey knew that it was, you were going to bury Joey. The story. That's what I knew. That yeah, was the story. That was it. We're, we're all from the same place. All from the same place. Yeah, I thought there was going to be like Joey was in fourth grade and he did like the Billy Madison thing. And then everybody else acted like they peed their pants too. It was, I thought that was going to be the story. I thought you were going to like, dude, I, yeah, I, but I, I saved him because I acted like I peed my pants too. No, that wasn't it. Dude, I, I'm going to think of a story as soon as I get off the Zoom call probably. So like, I, I, I can't, I mean, Joey, I can have a story. Ask Joey, man. I mean, we got we got a lot of stories, honestly. Oh, blazer! Oh, blazer. too many. I don't know okay. if I want to say all of them. Yeah, well, it's still a story, incriminating man. It's still a story, and then I'll head out. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I do. We just got so many. I don't know. What, I don't know what to say. I'll tell a story. All One right, time, wanna... Joey came to vacation with my family and I with the Burnettes. My wife was pregnant with Thomas my son who's turning forward this month and my wife and Ferdinand was like a year and a half old. Right. Wait, and we went when's to your son's birthday? Huh? When's his birthday? October 25th. Ah. Anyhow, Joey blaze just like shows up out of nowhere on a family vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, Oh, okay. Joey blaze is here. All right, cool. And so we were just like, it was a horrible setup. Jody, Jody Burnett found like this place and the guy lied to us and told us it was on the beach. And we had to, we had to drag the coolers through like a swamp, legit a swamp. Yes, Joey. Yes. Legit swamp. Like all the kidding bridge aside, broke, remember? Huh? The bridge broke. Like then the, the little, yeah, they we were, Yes, we were walking across people's private property and we were getting super mad, which I don't blame them. So we're there, we're hanging out. All of a sudden, like the it was like it was Lake Huron, and we're hanging out, and they're like, Joey and Max Burnett go out and they're like, Hey, there's like something out here in the water. And I was like, Oh, yeah, whatever. And they're like, There's a shipwreck out here. We're like, What? There's a shipwreck. These dudes found a ship that wrecked over like 120 years ago that was like beached. We went, I, I just found the uh, videos from it, Joe. I'll have to uh, send it to you. I oh, found the videos from, we found a shipwreck. I was like, well, who finds a shipwreck on vacation? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, and then Scotty's like, dude, you still have the videos of that shipwreck? I was like, no one's gonna believe me that we went. Out, we saw a sh- we we found a shipwreck on vacation. We found a shipwreck, and then then um, Max almost drowned trying to chase his uh, raft. That was great. It was a good time. And that yeah, I, was- I think that's how he actually found it because his raft blew away, and he was like, I, "There's something over there." Was that what it was, Joey? Yeah, I think. And then remember, we were in that little river thing, and we found that bike. What a ridiculous like vacation. It was ridiculous. And then the guy said, Oh, you guys can't have fires. So of course we had a fire. Yeah. And then the guy accused us of having a fire inside the house. And we we're like, dude, it's summer. Why would we have a fire in the house? And what are you what are you talking about? It yeah. was easily the worst like a Airbnb uh VRBO rental of all time. Yeah. Ah, uh, but we found a shipwreck. That's, well, my story. Um, That's my story. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys get, get it with Joey. So, Casey, thank you for the time. Mr. Mr. Pound for Pound, Slayer, Mr. Upset of the Year, I guess well, three people knew, four people now with Joey. Thank you for the time. Good luck at the college opens. We'll be running into you at Brexville, all right? Yep, thanks. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Yep, later. Okay. All right, Blazer. Talk to us. What's what, up? What is, can can Perrysburg get the job done this year? Can I you think guys can. win a Division One state title, team title in the state of Ohio? I think we can. I think we need to get a couple guys on track, like getting routines of what we need to do to be able to win. But, I mean, we got the coaching. You know, if everybody sticks to what Scotty says, I mean, I feel like I'm proof for our team that you listen to what Scotty says and good things happen. 
what would you say, you know, what's your confidence level in your brother Marcus right now? He had a great Fargo. Was he fourth in Fargo? Yeah. Fourth in Fargo. Marcus is a freshman. Six or 13 or 20. Where do you guys, where do you think Marcus is going to slot for you guys this year? Uh, he's going to be a, a perfect 13 for us. Cause we got a uh, Cole Evans. Who's he's, I don't know if he's Marcus's size. He's a little bit smaller. Maybe he'll fit perfect at 106. Then Marcus. And then we have Ryan Avalos who's returned to state placer. Man, you guys got a squad, man. Yeah. Both, both Denkins is right. Mm-hmm. Yourself. Who else do you guys have coming back? Got Ewan? Yep, Ewan. Uh, oh, we have a returning state alternate, Jackson Hawker. Okay. He's, he's hopefully going to make the state this year, do good, place maybe. Uh, we got Diego Chavez, uh, returning state placer. He took seventh last year. And then uh, that's like our, our core of our lineup. How many returning placers, including yourself? Chavez, you, and? Avalos. Avalos. So three returning state placers, and then you have a, a Fargo Cadet All-American freestyle. Your, your baby brother, he's coming in. You guys got a good squad, man. And you're, you're, you're getting tested right away at Ironman too, right? Yep. I think we can do it. I think we can beat St. Ed's. So is Ewan the only senior? Is he the only? Uh, Witten's brother, Allenson, is a senior. Okay. You and guys got a Hoff- great team. You got a great team. Yeah. We're going to be good for the for a while, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, what's the age difference between Marcus and Gray? Uh, two years, <laughs> I think. Gray guy's in seventh grade. Marcus is in ninth grade. So it's two years. So it'll be like what I have with Marcus. Uh, gotcha. Get two, get two solid years in with him. Yeah, man. It, 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 you know, obviously beating St. Ed's, and then you got teams like Brexville, you got Wadsworth, you got LaSalle. As you know, you got a LaSalle guy, you're probably going to have to beat to win another state title. Mm-hmm. You got all these teams, and then obviously Kaufman, Marysville, you got all these teams. Elyria, I said Elyria, I believe, but uh, Northeast Wadsworth. Ohio's got great teams. Obviously, St. Edward. I mean, Perry, Maslin Perry. I mean, there's just all these teams that are really good. And it's such a deep, 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 you know, division to win. Is there any doubt in your mind when you guys talk every day that you guys can't be, and not, not like we got to beat St. Ed's all those other guys are in there, right? Like I I literally like Wadsworth could win, man. Rexville could win, man. They all could win. Elyria could win. Kaufman. Right, Kaufman. Co- Kaufman, yeah, those are really good guys. They got a really good team. Uh, I yeah. mean, in my mind, in my mind at least, I feel like we got uh, no doubt. Like, uh, I feel like our team to if we're all together and we're all dialed in, I feel like we're gonna be a tough team to beat. Uh, duels might be a little shaky, like dual state title because of just our forfeits, but I feel like we could still get it done. And then, uh, but team like individually i feel like we we can do it we can push through it and get that state title so you guys interesting fact about you you're joe blaze four right yep so jared this is probably going to be a learning moment for you so joe blaze one is the same age as papa ferd miller no, Not, Joe Blaze two is. No, Joe Blaze oh, no. one is yeah. the same age as my Papa Ferd. Joe Blaze two is the same age as my dad. Joe Blaze three is the same age as my brother Ferd and Chad. And then this Joey Blaze is like Wyatt's age. So there's four generations. They're all iron workers. They're iron workers. His grandpa, Joe Blaze two. Was Joe Blaze one of the business agent too? Was he an iron worker business agent guy too? I believe so. I think he was. So they're all iron workers to start. And then they turn to the business side of it. And the reason my dad has such a, like a really great retirement is because Joe Blaze too was really good about how they were investing money, how they were pulling money in, putting money into annuities, all these different things, what they were doing with their health plans. So the Blazes, he, he would be the fourth generation of iron work. Wow. If he were to become an iron worker, him or Marcus, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm guessing if you're going to Virginia Tech, Purdue, or wherever you go, you are probably not going to be entering, entering into the uh, the apprenticeship. Is, my, is that my guess? 
Yeah, probably not. I mean, I don't see it. I don't see it happening. And there's nothing that's a really good living. They make a really good living, but it's tough work. Yeah, hard work. Hard work on the body. <laughs> Real hard work on the body. But my dad, it's great to hear my dad. He's like, they, they work out of a lift. I climbed all the columns. I connected. I did this. I did that. Okay, you're a maniac. Relax. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that about them. Uh, Jared, did you know that the Blades I did not, I did not firmly entrenched in the uh, local 50 fire iron workers? Did learn something new every day, Zim. You learn something new every day, and they, they've done a great job and great friends to my family. So, hey, my dad gets to uh, hang out in Florida half the year. So uh, tell, your, tell your grandpa, thank you. <laughs> I will. Appreciate that. That's Joe Blaze, too. Yep. So you guys all literally have the same middle name, right? What's your full name? Mm-hmm. Uh, Joseph Daniel Blaze. Everybody's Joseph Daniel. Mm-hmm. I just got to put this out there to you. There might be a little pressure on you. I know. There's, there's. <laughs> are you gonna do it? Yeah. Have a son. I mean, are you gonna do it? No brainer. No brainer. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So Joe Blaze won the same age as Papa Ferd, same generation at least. How long ago did Joe Blaze one pass? Uh, probably two years ago. He was. He lived. How old was he? Uh he was close to a hundred, I think. Yeah, I think because was... him and Papa Ferd are about the same age. Wow, did he fight in World War uh, World War Two? I'm not sure. I mean, I think he was in the army, but I or the navy or whatever. But I'm not sure. Yeah, Papa Ferd was in the uh, navy. My my Papa Ferd, my brother, our grandpa, right? Mm-hmm. Same as Joe Joe Blaze one. So you got to do it, dude. There's some pressure there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like sounds like you're up to it though. Yeah, I'm I, I'm down. I'm game. <laughs> I love it. I love it, dude. It's the best. My kid is Ferdinand. He's the fourth Ferdinand, but we skipped a generation because no, my Papa Ferd didn't name any of my uncles or my dad after him. So we skipped. We're four out of five generations of Ferd. Hey, I mean, still the fourth though. Yeah, still Ferd the fourth. Ferd the four. Four Ferd. But uh, <laughs> Joe, you got or uh, Jared, you got anything else for Joe here? No, I just want to hear it's about school your- night. It's school night. Yeah, we got to get him get him to bed, right? Probably uh, just walked to the door from a workout tonight, right? So, so yeah, we're we're brother, I was an older brother. So, what's it like having a little brother? Yeah, obviously, he's a lot smaller than you, but you know, I, I had that same situation two years younger, but we battled it out. What, what's it like being an older brother? Um, you know, in the room with him, although you don't you know compete with each other. I mean, it's good. I mean, like whenever we do some of our goes, I like to grab him. Like when, I mean, like. For like, I didn't grab him as much when I was training with Casey because it was like I was either going with Casey or Scotty, like really hammering with them and like getting really good workouts in. But like, we'll do some extra after these practices. And I like to grab Marcus because I want to get him tough and and I'm confident that he can win four state titles. And I mean, he he always thinks he can get me, but he (laughs) he doesn't know. You lay the smack down, let him know, right? Yeah. Just like you did, Jared. Here, brothers, come on. Yeah, we were we were close in size. We were one way class apart, so it's a little different. You know, we we're yeah essentially the same size. So okay, the best thing, my favorite thing about Joey Blaze, nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. Why are you such a nice guy, man? Why are you just? Where does that come from? You're easy going, easy to deal with, just a nice guy. Like I would love my, you know, my kids can be around you. I want my kids around a guy like you, right? Where do you think that mm-hmm. comes from, Joey? I mean, my dad and my grandpa, for sure. They're they're two of the most easygoing joke like joking guys of that I'm around. And Scotty's real easygoing. I feel like everybody in my life that I'm around that I look up to is pretty easygoing. There it is. Marcus is a little different though. Marcus got a little edge to him. Yeah, he he yeah, he's he's the the opposite. Yeah. He's different. He's just different. I mean, Casey's different, right? Casey was on the show. Yeah, he's he, different. Casey's got an edge to him. He's got an attitude. I like it. Yeah. So Marcus reminds me a little bit of Casey. I mean, like Casey and I have been best friends, like growing up and everything, wrestling every day for 10 years. And uh, he reminds me a lot of Casey, oh, like with their attitudes. I mean, we had uh, Shoemate and Fish back there. You're a little different too, right, Zem? I mean, yeah. Just yeah, it's all in the approach. Everyone's a little different, right? Yeah, everybody's different. I like that. But uh, if you were to give me a list right now, we already know Virginia Tech. We know Purdue. Could you give me a five? Could you give me five schools? 
Uh, Purdue, Virginia Tech, Clarion, uh, Kent, Rutgers, NC State. So that's six right there. Nice. That's, that's a good. That's a, that's a good six, man. And, and George Mason. George Mason. That's seven right good there. Good seven. Good when you. you are a guy like yourself, right? You're a sophomore state champ. Um, COVID took your freshman year. And, you know, that's a huge, when you win as a, fra- as a sophomore, right? Like they're, they're on you, man. You win the biggest, toughest division in Ohio. It's the deepest division at least. Right. And they're on you, man. Is it, those are the guys who've called and reached out or are those the ones you're down to, or, you know, like how, how do you get to those seven? Is that who's like giving you the most love? Like how, how, how do you, how do you determine that? Uh, I feel like, like I got called by more schools. Like I probably got called by 15 to 20 schools, but like, yeah, they're all showing me love and uh, they're all being real. They're all like staying in contact. You know what I mean? Like every week to three weeks, I'm getting a call, a text asking how I'm doing, asking how everything's going. Gumby style, Gumby style. (laughs) Do you think that you're eventually going to get on a weight program and get out of the Gumby mode and, or do you think it's going to be Gumby for life? Uh, I mean, I've been, I've actually been lifting hard lately. Uh, Scotty, I've been taking lifting a lot more seriously because I have figured out in some of them bigger matches that I'm, you can't just be gooey and you got to be tough and be in there. And I, I've learned that a lot being tough. And uh, oh. that's why like, I was bummed out because I got surgery on my hand this summer. I didn't get to wrestle at all. So that's why I'm really hammering in for Super 32. I want to I want to prove a point. I want to go out there and uh, dominate. So the goal is the belt, but who who do you want to see down there? Who, who, who are some of the guys you want to see down North Carolina? I mean, honestly, anybody. I'll wrestle anybody anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I, lo- I love everybody's attitude that we've talked to tonight. Everybody is so confident in their abilities. I love it. And nobody's cocky. That's what I really like. <laughs> and that doesn't even bother me right like that doesn't bother me at all if someone's a little cocky but like everybody's like on their grind and, and confident in their abilities and i think that's what it takes to win an ncaa title you know win win yeah, the fire, sure. win everything right i saw something like a post the other day i think it might have been like david goggins but he said like when there's doubt you can lose this like you can someone that is you're better than can pass you up it's true He's not lying. When you go in there with supreme confidence, uh, you're going to get good results. I agree. hundred percent. Love, Love it. Uh, Jared, I'm good on the blazer. I'm we good. Did find a, we did find a shipwreck together. That's all I got for you on stories, but, um, Thanks Jared, give us, a, give us a quick promo here. Give me a quick promo here. Come on. Oh, the Matt media. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. for this year. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, go how a big piece of that. You've been putting in the work for the last 12 years. we got some other guys, right? Rob Gore, Mark Neiman, Bryce Roth, and Andrew Gasper. And, uh, oh, geez, look, at there's the hair, right? Look like uh, Swiderski. <laughs> look at how jacked he is. Look at how jacked oh, he is, Blazer. Nemeth, Nemeth did 100 <laughs> push-ups. I didn't do any push-ups. Look at how ja- Hey, this is Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, he – Oh, he yeah, he's looking big. Oh, to- look at Tolar's yoke, too. Tolar's always yoked, right? Oh, my God, Jared. It looks like you're on the sauce, bro. No, no. Yeah, you need to get me one of them go Ohio cast shirts. Of course I will. These are the old ones here, right? Take- yeah, we'll get you some, dude. I'll hook you up. I got I give you stickers all the time, don't I? Yeah, I got I I'm stickered a sticker. up. I'm a sticker. Oh wait. You're a sticker. Hold on. Mule. Hold on. Don't don't go anywhere just yet. <laughs> oh yeah. You want to see yeah, real man, jack. Real jack. Holograms. Oh geez, oh pizza. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at him. He's a baby. Have, have you seen my dad? <laughs> He's just it's all, a baby. It's all DNA, man. It was... Dude, how many covers you got? How many? Is it just two? I don't know. I, I don't. There's I... another one. We're going to find it. <laughs> We're going to find all your covers. I'll have them on here. I want to proudly display them in the background, I think. But look at him. Look at the little guy. What year is this, Jared? Do you know? That's senior year. Dude, you're fit. You don't look like an old man or anything. That's good. You look good still. Good work. Glad you're still jacked. Ah, Blazer, Joey, thanks thank for coming on, brother. On, Joey, thank you for having me. It was yeah. fun. Oh, awesome, Jared. Fun, Jared, check everything out, guys. We got we got we got a signal deal. Hey, you guys were barbarian. 
Yes, they do. Persian yeah. barbarian. I need. Hey, wait, all right, wait, wait, time out. Do you get to design a singlet? What? What did yeah, you? Yeah, I need to show you it. I need to show oh, yeah, you it right see. now. Oh, this is on. perfect. You're on the Barbarian Hour. Yes, Scotty Joey Thomas. Blaze, I'm, state I'm... champ, Perrysburg, won the state title. The agreement was between the coaching staff. If you won state, you got to design a single. I am not. Is getting... it glaring? No, yeah, it's too bright. Hold on. Oh, oh, that was. I don't know what that was. But... Talk, talk while you're doing it, so it goes to you. Go, Joey. Talk. Uh, it's like. So what we did was I bet with that uh, we'd get singlets if I won. Oh, there it is. is. There it is. There it is. Go keep talking. And uh, Scotty and I have been talking for a while about a belt on our singlets, like the Penn State belts. And then uh, Jody, uh, who, who designs the singlets for Barbarian? Josh Sasty. He he. Uh, whipped up a couple designs i think and jody sent me them and i saw that one and it was sweet and it's it's a little bit wit doesn't like white singlets so i got it a little bit to mess with them i love it yeah because they're hard to keep clean and they stain yeah. and if you got different water that's not city water they get yellow yeah yeah mine's gonna I be hanging it. up like on my ceiling so nothing I gets on it. it you earned it dude you earned that barbarian yeah. singlet it's gonna be a whole team set isn't it yeah so those I the finalist singlets or what the what? Well, they oh, be the no, we'll probably just wear them at duels and stuff. Okay. Awesome, nice. man. That's so cool. That's so I awesome. I love it. You earned it. Uh, go to www.barbarianapparel.com. You can get your own custom singlets. I'm guessing they're not going to make the whole entire team wear your custom singlet because you got to win a state title, and Joey Blaze did that. Blazer, thanks <laughs> for coming on the show. Stick around a little bit. We'll talk to you. All right. They brought the boom truck. Uh, oh, like wait, sorry my again. old house Joey, in Ida. Again. Go again, Joey. Wait, you guys start again, oh, man. Okay. So uh, Tate and T-Bone came over and brought a turf, like big turf from Whitmer over to our house. When we lived in Ida and we had a barn. And T-Bone and Tate were like backing up the boom truck. And T-Bone was like left, left. And Tate was bringing it. I, it might have been right. I don't know. But then your dad was like, I said the other left. And they were just yelling at each other. And it was so funny. Like a like a old married couple. <laughs> and then my dad said when they were loading them up, loading up the turf, Tate was like, oh, we can get five pieces on that. That The turf guy like that was bringing the turf in, he was like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. They put five pieces on, and the boom truck, like, sinks. And they're like, and they're like, Tate's like, take it off, take it off. And they're like, but you told me to. Yeah, you told you moron. You you said you made me do this. <laughs> hey, hey, he came here and cut a tree down for my neighbor Bob, and he destroyed Bob's yard. <laughs> <laughs> he eventually had to wench himself out of Bob's yard. We had to pull like a hundred feet of cable out of the boom truck, and we had to hook onto a tree and pull him out. Cause my yard slopes down our yard slopes down. We have the same hill and this dude got so buried. He's, his backside was sliding into the woods. I was like, Oh my God, dude, he destroyed this guy's yard. Jesus. You know what though? My neighbor didn't complain. He fixed the yard. He was happy. The tree got taken down. He got the tree down. That's all that matters. He got the job done. Did, hey, did they get the turf? Yeah, yeah, I think got it, the it, job it, done. Actually, there you go, Tate Miller to the rescue. Tate, yep. T Bone for people who don't know is my dad, Tom. You've heard the story about my dad when when Scotty was in between Tate and my dad, and Tate hit my dad with the truck. You know that story, right? Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not gonna tell you. Just I'll send you the link. <laughs> He's, we got him tell him the story on the Barbarian Hour. It was great. So that's awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to to hang out with him. 